start uh, your mock snap for material science and you are going for mtech intro of iit gandhinagar material science department right yes sir okay uh, so any particular field uh, you have identified for yourself in material science yes sir no. uh, sir i have written uh, in the research area that i want to go for a metallurgy and biomaterials biomaterials and metallurgy uh, first is metallurgy sir can you name uh, can you tell me what is the difference between material science and metallurgy uh, sir material science is actually the study of uh, the crystal structures and uh, the different materials sir and uh, metallurgy consists of uh, three parts in which there is extractive metallurgy mechanical metallurgy and uh, physical metallurgy uh, in metallurgy we deal with the study of extraction of ores from particular metals uh it's physical study and then it's a mechanical study like how the ore behave uh, under the uh, forces and all like stress strain etc mm. and can you name some uh, biomaterials uh, no sir at the the moment i don't recall any of them engineering materials uh, sir we have a, a different types of uh, steels uh then uh, metals uh, ceramics etc engineering material sabse important engineering material kaun sa hai uh, sir i think it is steel because it is used in a uh, uh, various uh, branches like in civil in mechanical etc so and uh, there is also a research uh, uh, what makes steel uh, so important engineering material steel that uh, uh, sir because of its uh, vast usage sir in uh, different kind of soft engineering applications like wo to question hai ki why it has I become so useful engineering what is the reason for that uh, uh sir uh, because uh, first of all we can uh, make it uh, according to the properties we want hmm. How? like uh, if we study the iron carbon diagram uh, sir if we study the iron carbon diagram uh, we can uh, make the kind of steel we want according to the properties which uh, we require for our application sir uh sir different percentage of uh, carbon mixed with iron gives different kinds of steel and we can uh, apply it in our engineering domain sir like uh, strength hardness ductility etc that uh, we can obtain or try to obtain according to uh, our requirement hmm acha mere ko ye bataiye jo alloying element hote hain ha which are important alloying elements used in steel uh sir i think uh, chromium is one of them uh because uh, we have to uh, prevent the steel from getting uh, corroded so chromium is added to it high speed steel and stainless steel naam suna hai aapne dono ka yes sir kahan kahan use hote hain aur usme kaun se alloying element dalne chahiye uh sir high speed steel is uh, mostly used in the uh, cutting tools which we study uh, uh, and uh, stainless steel uh, uh, the uh, the use of stainless steel which i see in my daily life is in the utensils sir in oh. high speed steel uh, it is a, i think the name of high speed steel is also called 1841 when it comes to 18 percent chromium 4 percent mm-hmm. yes sir 18 percent chromium i think uh four percent tungsten and one percent of vanadium and mm-hmm. the rest of all is iron and stainless steel what does it do sir chromium in Kisna stainless percent? steel uh sir and that i am not able to recall acha stainless steel mein zyada hona chahiye high speed steel mein zyada hona chahiye chromium sir mujhe lagta hai stainless steel mein zyada hona chahiye kyunki usko humko corrode hone se bachana hai kyunki agar hum utensils ke bare mein soche to agar wo corrode ho gaye to fir sir lekin agar stainless steel mein suppose chromium kam ho fir uh sir zyada hi hona chahiye according to me so both तो पता नहीं सर कि अगर कम हो सकता है तो फिर क्या होगा अच्छा और और कोई स्टील का कम, आ, कोई स्टील का वेरिएंट पता है तुम्हें नो सर आपने स्प्रिंग स्टील का नाम सुना है यस सर उसमें क्या डालना चाहिए स्प्रिंग स्टील में सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डक्टिलिटी रिक्वायर्ड होती है और फिर जो स्प्रिंग्स होती है उनको और शेप में वापस लाने के रिक्वायरमेंट होती है तो सर 
is it fertility or is it resilience uh, hi yes sir resilience to so resilience kya cheez promote karta hai uh, sir resilience promote what's the maximum amount of energy that a material can withstand up to its elastic which allowing element increases the resilience of spring steel uh, sir i don't know that hmm. uh, what is the uh, have you uh, uh, heard about uh, uh, hot hardness yes sir hot hardness uh, refers to the ability of a material to Uh, achieve or to retain its hardness at elevated temperatures. Out of tungsten and vanadium, which will provide hardness and which will provide hot hardness? Uh, sir, I think tungsten is one of the hardest materials available right now. So tungsten will uh, pro- provide hardness, and vanadium I think will provide hot hardness. If you are asking between the two. because tungsten on normal temperature is quite a hard material so if i am using on. high speed steel as a tool cutting tool yes ek to usme hardness honi chahiye ha sir aur hot hardness bhi honi chahiye sir aur kya honi chahiye teesri cheez kya honi chahiye ek aur cheez honi chahiye ha sir hardness hot hardness and uh, uh, i think ability to not uh, corrode or change dimensions at higher temperature hmm. because what about toughness because we are working with higher yes sir it should also possess toughness because we don't want the tool to change the shape at higher temperatures while no, working on machining shape to change hota hai lekin shock absorb kar leta hai strain energy ah, yes. store kar leta hai na yes 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 to so, jab aap cutting karoge to forces lagengi cutting forces pada hoga aapne to jo aapka tool hai yes, wo sir. tough hona chahiye ब्रिटल हुआ तो टूट जाएगा यस सर। आपने ब्रिटल टूल भी देखे हैं क्या बहुत हाई ब्रिटलनेस वाले टूल मशीन में यूज होने वाले नहीं सर आई डोंट हैव आपने सिरेमिक टूल नहीं देखे हैं लेथ मशीन पे सिरेमिक के बिट्स आते हैं छोटे छोटे सर वो पढ़ा हुआ है शायद लेकिन देखा नहीं सर कभी उसको फिक्स करते हैं ना बिट्स को छोटे छोटे बिट्स को ऊपर टूल बिट्स को फिक्स करते हैं और जब आ, वो टूल बिट्स उनका को फिक्स करते हैं जब टफ मटेरियल के ऊपर शैंक के ऊपर यस टफ ने शैंक दे देता है यस सर अब क्रोमियम वेनेडियम एंड टंगस्टन में टफनेस कौन देता है हार्डनेस कौन देता है हॉट हार्डनेस कौन देता है सर आई थिंक टंगस्टन विल प्रोवाइड द हार्डनेस एज आई सेड अर्लियर a uh, vanadium uh, will uh, uh, sorry a uh, chromium will provide the toughness and the rest would be provided by vanadium hot hardness mm. vanadium forms the hardest component actually and tungsten okay. is for hot hardness okay sir okay now tell me cast iron mein alloying element kyun nahi dalte hain uh. sir uh, cast iron is a, itself having the carbon percentage which is more than 2.1% according to iron carbon diagram so i think usko itni hardness uh, or alloying element ki zarurat nahi pad sakti aur waise bhi cast iron ki applications steel se thodi kam hai in engineering applications jaise hum iron carbon diagram mein aage badhte jaye in the terms of percentage of carbon so applications dheeme dheeme kam hoti jati hai स्टील को कास्टिंग नहीं करते कास्ट आयरन को कास्टिंग करते हैं सकते सर आयरन की ऐसी प्रॉपर्टी है कि अगर हम उसका जो कूलिंग डायग्राम है दैट इज अ ट्रिपल टी डायग्राम तो उसमें जो है कि कास्टिंग के दौरान जो कूलिंग होता है तो उसके अकॉर्डिंग हम अलग अलग कंस्टिट्यूएंट्स ऑफ आयरन से अलग अलग प्रॉपर्टीज का आयन बना सकते हैं और स्टील में अगर हम डायरेक्टली जो कार्बन है दैट इज लेस देन टू परसेंट वो मिक्स करके हम प्रॉपर्टीज ले आ सकते हैं सो आई थिंक कास्ट आयन की कास्टिंग ज्यादा होती है कंपेयर टू स्टील दे हैव यू हर्ड अबाउट फ्लोएबिलिटी हां यस सर फ्लोएबिलिटी रिफर्स टू द प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ मोल्टन मेटल व्हिच प्रमोट्स इट टू गो टू द एक्सट्रीम प्लेसेस इन द मोल्ड दैट इज इंट्रिकेट शेप्स और इंट्रिकेट प्लेसेस इन द मोल्ड कैन यू टेल मी समथिंग अबाउट नॉर्मलाइजिंग हाँ यस सर नॉर्मलाइजिंग इज अ प्रोसेस 
in which we uh, cool the material in air instead of cooling it in furnace uh, that is after uh, reaching the recrystallization temperature we take out the component in air and do air quenching it is also called air quenching okay can you tell me what is martin site dhruvil uh -huh. so martin site is i think a, a component of uh, iron uh, consider uh, having particular uh, of orientation or uh, have you heard about s curve uh, yes sir the triple t diagram is also called s curve and c what curve. is t what is t what is t uh, time temperature transformation mm. why this name uh, sir because when we try to cool the uh, iron and and the component actually uh, after 727 degrees celsius that is a uh, uh, gamma austenite all the story starts uh, as we cool it in the different forms we get a different we get the product in different forms that is uh, if we do uh, annealing uh, that is a furnace cooling by turning off the furnace we would get uh, more ductility and uh, as we shift towards fast cooling that is by air quenching or by oil quenching or by quenching it in water uh, we get uh, a harder final product and ductility starts to reduce so we can study all these from the triple t diagram can you tell me uh, something about mar tempering and os tempering uh, sir i am not sure about it but mar tempering and os tempering refers to the respective processes in which we get the final products as martensite and austenite so how how do you get bennite how do you form the bennite which process Uh, sir i am not uh, quite sure about it but i think it would be something of uh, oil quenching it is os tempering austenite okay. tempering it goes like yes. this oh. right os tempering okay. it is called os tempering actually bennite is formed yes sir ductility process annealing sir i am not aware about it much when you do rolling operation yes then metal sheet is you know first it process annealed and then next rolling pehli rolling process annealing dusri rolling aisa kyun okay uh, sir i think it would be uh, they would be doing get to uh, take the metal above recrystallization temperature so that uh, rolling is done efficiently if you are talking about hot rolling why recrystallization temperature se upar jaake kya hoga uh, sir recrystallization temperature se upar agar hum jayenge to jo recovery recrystallization aur grain growth wala jo pura phase hai wo hoga final product mein and it will provide the uh, increase the uh, strength in the final product because in rolled components what we require like for example if i talk about rolled sheets so uh, we require strength in the uh, sheet so that uh, it is done above the uh, recrystallization temperature uh, we can also do cold rolling that is below recrystallization temperature and uh, in that i think uh, uh, case hardening or work hardening is done so that is also a way but if we want to form the crystals from the start the metal is taken above recrystallization temperature mm. Okay, Dhruvil. Now, suppose I ask you about uh, HCP, BCC, FCC. Which one yes, is the sir. hardest? So I think uh, HCP would be the hardest uh, because of the crystal structure. It has a more effective number of atoms and more atoms uh, in it. Mm. hexagonal close packing with the hardest is that what you're saying yes sir according to the number of atoms if we talk about 
Okay. So, uh, do you know what is ceramics? Uh, yes, sir. Ceramic is a material which is made out of combination of metals and non-metals. Example, those ceramics. Ke? Uh, sir, I am not aware about it. आपने ये glass नहीं देखा glass? Yes, sir. ये ceramic ही तो है. Tiles. Okay. इस room में आप बैठे हैं शायद tiles हों इस room में floor पे. That is also yes, ceramic. Sir. ओके सर दैट वॉश बेसिन एंड बाथ कंपोनेंट्स आर आल्सो सेरामिक एग्जैक्टली जिसको फेंक आउट टूट गया ब्रिटल ओके सर यस फेंक आउट टूट गया वो सेरामिक है दिस आल्सो टूथ यस जो डॉक्टर टूथ बनाता है ना जो बायोमटेरियल है टूथ अभी ह्यूमन बॉडी के अंदर जो मैंने मटेरियल डालना है जैसे मेरे को आर्टिफिशियल टूथ लगाना है बोन यस सर ये बायोमटेरियल है क्या प्रॉपर्टी होनी चाहिए इसकी uh sir the property of biomaterial should be uh, the very first it should be compatible with uh, the human body yes. uh, it should not get uh, rotten or it should not not get corroded after it is installed so we need a compatibility and the second is as i mentioned right now the durability should be there uh, the material should work for longer uh, period of time inside the, the uh, patient's body or the receiver's body and the, the third thing should be that uh, the tissues uh, should try to bond with the material instead of uh, uh, treating it as a foreign element and ejecting it out of the body ek kaam karo dhruvil abhi 5 4 5 ghante ka material science ka marathon pada hua hai your pd education channel pe marathon yes sir material science interview questions stress strain diagram ka alag se stress strain diagram alag se pada hua hai गो थ्रू कर लो उसको ओके okay, उसको ढंग से गो थ्रू कर लो okay, और मटेरियल साइंस का एक और वीडियो भी पड़ा हुआ है उसको भी गो थ्रू कर लो हाँ सर वो तीन घंटे वाला जो है हाँ वो उसको भी गो थ्रू कर लो और अच्छे तरीके से उसको सुन लो और बायो मटेरियल्स के बारे में पढ़ लो नेट पर से ओके सर राइट और वहां पर क्या काम चल रहा है उसको गो थ्रू कर लो ऐसे टिपिकल क्वेश्चन पूछे जाएंगे जैसे मैंने आपसे पूछे ओके लोइंग एलिमेंट्स ट्रस्टियन डायग्राम आयरन कार्बन डायग्राम ट्रिपल डी डायग्राम हीट ट्रीटमेंट प्रोसेसेस ये ऑल द क्रिस्टोलोग्राफी ये सारा चीज को ढंग से गोथ्रू कर लो ओके सर राइट प्रिपेयर इट वेल ओके सर